Being married to um, a head football coach, it is, it's an adjustment. It is a lot to take on. It, it can be a job in and of itself if you want it to be, if you allow it to be. I choose for it not to be. I'm an independent person. So I like to know that I'm self-sufficient and can support myself. And I think that comes from growing up. My parents divorced early and my mom was left to support us. Times were very tough and tight, but she just worked hard and got extra jobs when she needed to and, um, and never looked back. All along when we got here I had been working quietly from home enough that it would fulfill me the way I, I was needing to be fulfilled but at the same time allowing me to raise my kids. When my um, youngest daughter started kindergarten I had this big block of time. The custom business was picking up. I moved into my first location at an interior designer's showroom. People really only get custom designs for the, like, the most special occasion, which is really neat to be chosen to design for such a special event, but at the same time it's so limiting and people just wear it once. And I just wanted people to really just live in my clothes. When I started designing the collection, Uptown Sweats to me was for the woman who had a lot to get done, was very active, didn't want to be controlled by their outfit, whether it was appropriate or inappropriate, but that just wanted to be comfortable and dig her heels in and get her work done. Started with um, my first sweatshirt dress, which I now call the signature dress. When I first designed it, it was just this little dress that I didn't even finish. But whenever I would wear it, people would stop me and want to know where I got my dress. So I knew I was onto something. My experience doing custom design, I think it's really reflected in my designs because I have an appreciation for real women's bodies. So I really do try to take that into consideration. It's really exciting to see people enjoying uh, my work. It makes me feel like I'm on the right track.